Some plants are just one cell big. Others are made up of many thousands and millions of cells, all working together. Even these tiny leaves are made up of a whole variety of cells. But to see them, you need one of the most powerful microscopes available. This is a slice through the same leaf, magnified many thousands of times with a scanning electron microscope. You can see the individual cells and how they differ in shape and size. This is an epidermal cell. A layer of these cells joined together forms the surface of the leaf. In the lower half, there's a group of strange-looking cells which make up the spongy mesophyll. There are large air spaces in between. This makes it easier for the plant to take in carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. Near the top surface is a row of elongated palisade cells. It's here that photosynthesis takes place. So in a leaf, there are many different types of cell, but there are certain features which all plant cells have in common. A typical plant cell is like a box. Take a look inside and you'll find a nucleus, the control center of the cell. Surrounding it is the cytoplasm, where all the chemical reactions which keep the cell alive take place. The green blobs are chloroplasts, which are the site of photosynthesis. A vacuole takes up most of the space inside the cell. It's filled with a solution of sugars and salts. Surrounding the cytoplasm is a cell membrane. And on the outside, a rigid cell wall gives the cell support. The scanning electron microscope shows the three-dimensional shape of the cells, but it doesn't show what's inside. By removing a thin piece of onion tissue, just one cell thick, and placing it onto a slide, it's ready to view under a light microscope. The cell walls are easily visible. The vacuole is pushing the cytoplasm to the outer edge of the cell. Squashed to the side is the nucleus, 